Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolitz, writer for a year, and I know I said I was going to be back in mid-September, but writers are chatty people, and there were a couple of things I wanted to chat about. Self-imposed but realistic deadlines being one, reading material, two, and oh, the book launch. Um, so September is going to be a busy month. Towards the end of September, we've got a festival called Word on the Street, which I really love, and I'll get some footage of. It's a massive book festival, and <clears throat> I'll be at some of the booths. Last year, I was at the Crime Writers of Canada booth, the Sisters in Crime, the Inanna booth, and the Madames of Mayhem. So this year, I'm going to cut it down to two. I think I'm just going to do Inanna um, and um, the Madames of Mayhem because we're launching our new anthology and then just maybe get some footage um, of what the rest of the festival is like. Second is the importance of reading. These are just some of the gems. I went on a massive binge reading weekend, which was just fantastic. You know, when you're just craving to read books. The thing is this, most of these books are from small publishers you wouldn't have come across. So that's why I have the Minerva Reader. But the thing is, dig out small publishers, local publishers, independent publishers, look at their book lists, look at their catalogs, see what they have. I mean, some of these books here are absolute gems. And to be honest, I wouldn't have come across them either had they not been in the, the pile at work where, you know, the books come into review. So I wouldn't have come across them. So I'm going to make more of a concerted effort to study the book lists of um, the independent publishers, you know, because you have to put a little bit of work in. They're not the ones that are, you know, the first things that you walk into in a bookstore, but they're so worth reading. So um, I have to write reviews of these 12 fabulous books and then I'm going to get on to the next thing which I know I've been threatening for a while but I was just craving a book read before I started and that will be um, the rewrites of The Rage Room. So self-imposed deadlines for me are absolutely critical but you have to be realistic as well. So I'm giving myself until the end of December. That way it's no pressure I can enjoy myself and it's not like you have six weeks to rewrite this entire novel. So in, the importance of self-imposed deadlines to me is crucial, but then they have to be kind deadlines. They have to be realistic. So um, message from writer for a year. Oh, I forgot because then there's the launch in September as well. So launches totally freak me out. Um, sometimes I forget who I am. So my aunt always comes up you know, shows up for the book launch and she'll say to me, she'll march up to me and say, hi, Lisi, this is your auntie Babush. Now sign this book for your cousin, Emily. Excellent. A, she's told me who I am. B, she's told me who she is. And C, she's told me who to write the book for. Now, she could have added how to spell Emily, but <laughs> that might have been taking it too far. Anyway, 26th of September, um, I'm just not a party person, right? I don't go to them, I don't give them, I don't really enjoy them. Hence, book launch fear, you know? So, and you want to do okay. You want your publisher to do well, you want the book to do well, you want it to be a celebration of the book. Anyway, so that looms. So September's going to be quite hectic. Um, but before that, there are a couple of things, right? Um, nice, some nice reviews for these books and get going on um, the rewrites of The Rage Room. Uh, and I forget there was something else. Oh, word on the street. Anyway, that's the check-in from Writer for a Year. So happy reading, happy writing, and happy September. Thank you.